It took 30 years, but a body found in Kenosha County in the late 80s finally has a name. Sean Gallagher tells us how authorities finally figured this out. It was about 31 years ago the Sheriff's Department found a body here in Kenosha County, about a quarter mile away from the freeway in what we now know is Pleasant Prairie. But today they can finally say they know who that man is. The decedent has been identified as Robert Lyle Schwartz. From all accounts, Robert Lyle Schwartz didn't have the most savory lifestyle. Robert Schwartz had a long criminal history. The only picture that I have of him alive is his, uh, is his prison photo. When I spoke with the, um, with the family, yes, they described him as, um, as a con artist. Sheriff David Beth says Schwartz allegedly sold fake silver bullion, among other crimes. The Sheriff's Department believes Schwartz was strangled in Chicago and his body dumped here in Kenosha. Because of his sketchy past, his family never filed a missing persons report, which made identifying him even more difficult. With his lifestyle, uh, he was a criminal, that they figured that his lifestyle had caught up with him. Advancements in fingerprint technology helped the National Missing and Unidentified Persons system crack many John and Jane Doe cases across the country. They had had 100 positive hits in the six weeks um, with this new fingerprint technology. Despite his criminal past, the ID helps give closure to both his family and the detectives who worked the case some 30 years ago. You're going to treat every one of them like it was one of your family members and do the best you can to think and resolve the case. And he was a human being like anybody that we go out on a call with through our department and it didn't make any difference at all. It, it, it probably made it more or less difficult because it took so long. The Sheriff's Department says they believe they know who killed Schwartz back in 1988. However, that man died in jail some years ago, but they won't be releasing his name yet since he's under a sealed grand jury investigation. So technically the case is considered still open until they wrap up some final paperwork. In Kenosha County, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4.